So this is one of the, my favorite Haydn sonatas. Okay. <laughs> one of the most beautiful slow movements, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay, so um, what edition are you using? Um, or text. Oh, such a good girl. My favorite edition. Good for you. Okay, great. Okay. Why don't you play? I'm sorry? Yes. Why don't you play? Yeah. Great. Um, you sound, the sound is, should she turn on the uh, enable original sound thing? Did you do that, Sanjana? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you, did you do that again after you submitted? I mean, I mean, sorry, after you uh, connected here? Yes, I did. 
Okay. 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 Um, so some of the ornaments in this movement, um, different people play different ways. Um, and I'm not sure I would call them right or wrong. A few of them I would call wrong at the, at the end. Um, you, need to, you can't do it. You need to play that E natural. Do you have the music? Yes, I do. Great, fantastic. Okay. Um, you, whenever you have that figure, it's not, I think it's you know, the opposite. It's sort of like crying. Um, sometimes you leave them out altogether, some of the ornaments. Um, um, let's, let's start again, I'll stop you. It's good, you sound good. Yes, yeah, so you're doing this. To me, what you're playing is that kind of ornament with, you know, this, this, this like this colon thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You're doing that. I don't know, you can, you can. But do you, if you're going to do that, I would sit on the D flat for a second. It makes it more expressive. Yeah, you doing three, two, one, two? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Lean on the three. Yeah, not quite so romantic. But just stay classical, just tiny tenuta. Let the left hand you want. Let that keep you going. You on a... So the F is the loudest note. It's like a diminuendo. Yeah, just your, just natural. Yeah, stay in time. Just make a diminuendo. That's it. Start again. So don't hesitate. That's where you're going. If you want to take a time, you can take it after it, but don't stop before the note you're going to. So the whole piece has this rhythmic. And it's always one, two, one. This is your the kind of the rhythm underneath. So you have to. Let that keep flowing, whatever you do. I'm always letting the left hand sort of rescue me from whenever I want to get too romantic. I let that sort of keep me back in, in the you know path. Let's start again. Let's try. I feel like you don't really have this going, you know, steady. So when you practice, do you ever practice that by itself? Yes, I do. Left hand? And when you practice left hand alone, what are you thinking of? Um, to think in like twos and not like ba 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 ba. When you're practicing an accompaniment, um, it's a great way to practice it is to be thinking about the hand that you're not playing. And that'll help you to start to make it a better partner for your melody. You know, don't just play it by itself and not be thinking about the other hand. 
Okay, let's go on from bar five. Yeah, so there, that rhythm is wrong. It's one, two, three. You're chopping the E flat. You're doing a, it's one, two, three, one. See what I mean? When you think of this thing, what do you, what do you like and how do you want to phrase that? What note do you like the most? I try to uh, diminish each one. Uh, so your, your top, that's the loudest note? Yeah. I don't know, I think, oh, I think of that one. I would make a diminuendo from there, the last four. I don't know. And also, you've been in, you've been in F minor and then all of a sudden it's in major. So it's more, a little bit more innocent, you know, in its character. Let's go from there again. There you want to show the bass. You want to show that bass line. So the trills, because it's Haydn, it's not yet Beethoven, normally you're going to start from above. So those things, uh, they're, going to, they're going to start on the F. I think the first three make a crescendo. And then maybe that one is a special harmony. And then after that, you are good. Okay. Let's go from 11. You can be much better. You try to play legato. Sanjana, what, what, is this romantic music? No. I think it sort of is. I mean, of course it's classical music, but it's very vocal, you know. Um, when you get to these things, those are like pizzicati. So it relaxes a little bit. It goes back, you know, to that, to that kind of. But I think those two lines are actually very lyrical, very beautiful. Okay, um, I, I was just a little bit hesitant on how much to like um, pull. I guess the, the. Well, you know what? It's um, it's always good to to do more, mm -hmm. and then, you know, um, you know the sculptor Rodin. Have you ever heard of him? Rodin, they asked him, he would make these beautiful sculptures, like the thinker in Paris. And they, they, somebody asked him how he made a sculpture. And he said, well, he found a perfect piece of stone. And then he just removed everything from it until he had his perfect sculpture. 
So in a sense, start with your big thing, make your big romantic thing, and then you can start to trim it away and put it into style. But if you start from the bottom, it's hard to go up. Okay. So try once playing it play out more. Okay. Stay up, stay up, stay up. <laughs> stay up, it's romantic stuff. going keep going more See, that sounded that was beautiful that wasn't too much actually you know you have a lot of you're very smart and you have very good taste so that means you're not going to do something vulgar or something, you know, just out of style. So let yourself, you know, open your box a little bit more, you know? It'll be more fun to play and more communicative to people who are listening to you. That was beautiful. Okay, let's go on. So again, I think it goes down. You know, there to be, uh, I think the, the, the first of the four is more than the last one. See what I mean? Good. So um, I'm going to just tell you a few things about those two lines, and then maybe we'll jump to the third movement so we can touch on that, okay? I think you need to have a longer phrase. That's your phrase. And why don't you do these ornaments? Your idea is good. This idea is good, you know? but it's exaggerated. It's hurting your line. Put it in context. Just two notes. And I'd probably do the second one a little bit like an echo. Just a little bit different, the second one. Good, good. It's very nice. It's very good. Um, so, and like in the last line of the two pages later, again, do the, do those and do them fast. 
not slow. Um, and there were a few other of those little ornaments that were um, you left out, but good, good job. Okay, so show me the finale. So, Jenna, um, what's the time signature? 2-4. So what does that mean? What does 2-4 mean? Um, what does 4-4 four, four mean? I'm not sure. Okay, so the bottom one refers to the, um, what your, your beats are. So it's quarter note, four is a quarter note. Like if it was three eighths, it would be three eighth notes. Mm -hmm. So you're two four, so it means there are two beats in the bar and the quarter note is your beat. Mm -hmm. So there are two quarter notes. So it's not one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but it's yap, up, 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 and it's marked presto. Mm -hmm. So um, you need to be much faster. It's so elfin and cute and, funny and showy, sparkly, okay? Um, these things, they come up, these chords at uh, 20, 28, right? They're ups, big ups. So, almost in one, actually. Good, and that's funny. That was great, great. Good, play again, it's good. Good, Sanjana, if you keep your left hand a little closer to the key, you'll be able to play faster because you're going, you're way up in the air. It takes time to get back down. Stay closer to the keys. Can't slow down there. You slow down even when you were playing slow, actually. Just stay in time. You make a retard there. You can play staccato. Okay, hang on. So the, um, I think that it was this, this, the legato that was slowing you down. You know, just playing it short will make it easier to play fast. Also, the 16th notes, your A's are too loud. You're doing... The, the A's are soft. You want to in there? Mm -hmm. That's also slowing you down. Go again. Funny. Uh, 
goes, first of all, instead of going, he goes, that's like the he clips them with the dot and the, the rest. And the, really like a lie of your fingers, very active. Go on, it's great. The B flats again, your inside's too loud. The B flats. The thumbs are all too loud. What touch, are, what touch are you doing? I'm sorry. What touch? What touch are you doing? Uh, staccato. Yeah, I, I don't hear staccato enough. Really play staccato. So your left hand. Play me your left hand. Your thumbs are too loud. Your thumb is too loud. You really want to hear this. The second and fourth notes are much softer. Just follow that. In both hands, actually, the same idea. Yeah. You can practice like this. Do that. Now do that with the right hand. The chords. Thumbs are too loud. Play both hands like that together, block them. And you can do this also. Here's another way. Um, doing each group twice, like there's 16th notes. Thumbs are too loud, sweetie. Thumbs are too loud. Thumbs too loud. Okay, so th there's some ways to practice. Let's go on. Good, it's great, it sounds great. At um, 86, I would add the slur like in the beginning. So I would do it. And I think you did it on this one. Because that's the theme. He just omitted the slur. I see. Okay. So I think the goal there. When you're playing a little faster, that that rest will become like a question mark. So he'll go. You can add a little breath, and then when he returns, it's more cute. It's more funny. Mm
Is that, are you making a diminuendo there? Is that your plan? Yeah, make a bigger diminuendo. Okay. You're playing a wrong note in there, by the way. Uh, something's wrong in there. Yeah, and the left hand. Go from uh, from the top of the page. So your left hand, unless you're doing something like, you know, you're springing off in general, I want you to just watch it and keep it closer to the key. You'll have a lot more control. Go on. So there, I think what's funny is this thing, of, you know, so. that's sort of the cute thing in that with the variation. The same phrase as right, just like the beginning, slur those two notes. Good job, bravo. Thank you very much. Okay, nice to hear you. Great job, great job, Susanna. Thank you for uh, doing the masterclass. <laughs> Thank you. Where, where are you? Where are you located? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, nice, I like it there. Nice. <laughs> great, all right. See you later, Susanna. Thank you. Thank all you right. for this opportunity, and thank you, Mr. Levine. Pleasure to hear you. <laughs>